Solving Basic Equations, Part 1. In equations, we need to find variables or unknown values, such as a, b, c, x, y, and so on. If you have an equation that has an unknown value in it, you need to rearrange the equation until you have the unknown value all by itself on one side of the equal sign and all of the known values on the other side of the equal sign. How can we do it? An equation is like a balance scale. Two sides are balanced when each side has the same amount of weight. If you add some weight to one side, the scale will no longer be balanced. But if you add the same amount of weight to the other side, the scale will be balanced once again. We follow the same rules for equations. If you add something to one side, it must be added to the other side as well to keep it balanced. Similarly, if you subtract something from one side, it must also be subtracted from the other side. Let's try an example. x plus 6 equals 14. Our goal is to keep the variable, which is x, on the left side, and all the known values on the right side. To solve this equation, we will be using the subtraction property of equality. This property says, if you subtract the same number from both sides of the equation, the two sides will remain equal. To solve, we subtract 6 from both the left and the right side. We cancel out and we are left with x equals 8. Let's check it. We plug in our x value of 8 into the original equation. 8 plus 6 equals 14, so we are correct. Let's try another example. 12 equals x minus 5. For this equation, we will be using the addition property of equality. If you add the same number to both sides of the equation, the two sides will remain equal. To solve, we add 5 on both the right and the left side of the equation. We cancel out and we are left with 17 equals x. Let's rewrite our answer so that the x is on the left side. x equals 17. Let's check it. Plug in our x value of 17 into the original equation. 12 equals 17 minus 5. Our answer is correct. Let's try another example. 18 minus x equals 7. For this equation, we will be using the addition property of equality once again. In this problem, we will be adding the variable on both sides, because the equation gives us a negative x value, but we are looking for the positive x value. We cancel out and we are left with 18 equals 7 plus x. Now we use the subtraction property of equality. We subtract 7 on both sides, cancel out, we are left with 11 equals x. Let's rewrite our answer so that the x is on the left side. This leaves us with x equals 11. Let's check it. Plug in 11 into x. 18 minus 11 equals 7, so we are correct. If this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.